Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a feeling this video is gonna be quite short because there's really not much to update except that your your girl and your boy not making any progress. Haven't lost weight this week. Not one pound. Nope. Actually gaining. But it is what it is. But it is what it is. And we're gonna keep this train going. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna be honest. One week, one week of no progress is okay in the grand scheme of things. What about five weeks of no progress? But you are seeing progress. Okay, yes, that's what we're gonna talk about. Slow. Like the ones to get down. First and foremost, excuse the appearance. Today is Monday, no makeup, just chilling at home. But we're making this video for you because we have to update you. So I'll start. <laughs> Last week I talked about how I hit 179 for a day, and then I never saw that number again. I was going back and forth between 180, 181. And then yesterday was actually the Super Bowl and we went over to a friend's house and I, I mean, <laughs> I was thinking about this. He, he spoiler alert, you gained one pound? Uh, last point, night? Point four pounds. Point four pounds? Yeah. Wow. Now I'm even more offended. <laughs> I thought it was a pound or something. Um, I ended up getting four pounds. <laughs> four pounds? You yeah. said three. I'm sorry. Three. Sorry. Three. I, 184, three, three. I gained three pounds overnight and Taz only gained 0.4. And I can probably argue that he ate more than me last night. Like yeah, for sure. I would probably for say sure. that too. And so when I woke up this morning, I was a little bit annoyed, frustrated. I don't want to say devastated, but I was definitely very frustrated and just annoyed at the whole situation because, you know, I've been working really hard. And I, I say that because there have been times that I say that I am working really hard and I'm really not working really hard. But this time, I promise, I'm working really hard. <laughs> so I'll turn it over to Taz so we can talk about his progress. And then we'll talk more about everything else. I haven't lost any weight this week. Great. <clears throat> moving on. So um, uh, last week, I thought I was going to see some more progress. We, we talked briefly about the whoosh. In the squishy fat and yes. kind of that progress, but we were both like, "This we is the week that the whoosh happens." We did not see that, which is it's fine if we didn't see that; it's all right. But I do notice that in the gym when I am lifting, I am seeing still more definition. I'm still seeing small changes in um, mostly, you know, my arms and maybe a little bit in my legs. But those are ten; those tend to be the areas that do lean out first. My legs have always been always stay fairly lean. My arms always stay kind of lean. It's more so like here and like here where it takes a little bit while longer to see some more progress there but <clears throat> i think it's just lack of consistency this week i wasn't as good with my diet yeah um and then obviously with like the super bowl and with like some festivities it was a we tough week for us because not tough in the sense of like it was a hard week. It was just tough because we went out for the majority of the week. We had like dinner with friends. Like Wednesday, and... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was basically eating outside of our normal routine, I think. Yeah. So So I think that's why we didn't make as much progress as mm -hmm. we did as we <laughs> how do you say that? We didn't make as much progress as we, we didn't. Thought, we thought. <laughs> but one thing I did want to touch on that I briefly mentioned on Instagram is that, you know, a lot of us probably overindulged a little bit uh, this weekend because of the Super Bowl, and we're probably feeling it this morning. I don't know if I can speak for Taz because he only gained 0.4 pounds, but for me, I felt super lethargic. I felt super full this morning when I woke up. I felt just kind of all around blah, and that could discourage you even more. It might make you feel like you've lost all the progress you've made, mm -hmm. that you've like thrown in the towel, that you might as well just give up, and I'm here to tell you, no, sis, that's not what you're going to do. Because like we mentioned last week, the weight that you're seeing or that I'm seeing is, like we said, transient weight. It's not fat. We didn't gain five pounds overnight. Mm -hmm. We're just holding on to all that caca that we ate. Just and the water from yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. and you're probably feeling the way you're feeling because you've been on a program and you've been consistent with like the right foods and you're not necessarily eating buffalo dip. <laughs> Yeah. The way you did last night. I'm obviously talking for myself right now. Yeah. Um, I don't eat things like that ever. Um, like it's consistently. It's literally special occasions. Like yeah. 
And so while I was eating it, I knew I was like, my body's going to hate me tomorrow, mm-hmm. but I was also enjoying it. So it's like finding that nice balance. I will say I didn't binge at all. No. And although it might feel like you did because of the way you feel, I want, you probably didn't. So yeah. I don't want you to think that you like had a binge incident and you're it's all downhill from here because that's totally not the case. Mm-hmm. Binging is completely different than overeating. And I feel like sometimes on social, it can get kind of like blurry line blurry lines yep. and um i don't want you to think that you did if you did then i would definitely suggest talking to somebody but more often than not we're probably overeating here and there because we are following a diet and eating a little bit more might make you feel like you've you know done this drastic thing so all that to say is um get right back into your program do what you've been doing drink the water do a little bit of cardio i'm not saying to like do seven hours of cardio but just do what you normally would if you want to do a little bit more then sure but i don't want you to kill yourself because you think um, you messed up went crazy yeah. on super bowl sunday as for me this morning i actually i should say because last week i said i wanted to do some strength training i didn't do any last week <laughs> the old yummy got the best of me the cardio bunny yummy and i just wanted to do cardio because i saw that 179 and i was like that's it that's it when i know like i know that strength training helps um sometimes more than cardio so with that i went to the gym this morning i did 15 minutes uh of a light walk to warm up i was writing i was writing my instagram caption so i went a little longer than i thought and then i did some strength training i did legs and back and i loved the workout i just kind of went with it i didn't plan it i planned it as I was going and I finished with some kettlebell swings and I filmed it and when I looked at it I saw I saw something that I was not expecting it was my arms I was like oh what is that in a good way in a good way yeah I saw some muscles coming out and I showed Taz and I was like that's what's hiding under there so hopefully we can see those bad boys soon but all that to say is that like Taz mentioned Although the scale is not necessarily moving in the direction that I want it to move, I am feeling and seeing some results. So like we talked about it last night, how I was frustrated, but he's like, you're seeing, you're seeing mental um, results. You're feeling better. You have, you know, your mood's better, which is all true. And he even said that, you know, it's more important sometimes that than your physical changes, which Mm -hmm. totally agree. But I have been seeing some physical changes. I've been feeling better. Having that routine has just been fantastic for me. I have just been loving doing the cardio because it just, it just, I mean, you guys can probably attest to it. You feel much better once you finish. And um, for this week, I am going to do more strength training. So like I said, I did back and legs today and tomorrow I'll probably do like I'm going to I'm going to do it. So that's my challenge for the week is to not just be cardio bunny yummy but um kind of include both. Great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think we have much um going out plans. Valentine's Day is this weekend. So which also lands on a Sunday, which so is also the church. following day so. might be we might be like, hey, guess what? We gained weight again. Who knows? Or maybe we but, don't do anything. We don't go out and we'll cook at home and um, maybe do this for us. I don't, we don't have plans just yet. But all I have to say is that we don't have a lot of plans this week. You know, so hopefully this we week. should see some other progress. Hopefully. But, if not, I just quit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, one thing I did want to talk about, a specific topic, is um, what to do if you do not see progress. So... Um, this hopefully the next couple of minutes of going over this will allow you to determine where you're at if you're not seeing progress and what changes to make. So essentially I've kind of boiled it down to two things. Well, really just one thing and then one thing from there kind of leads into another. But number one, determine if you're being consistent or not. Um, consistency is going to make or break your progress. And be a hundred percent honest with be yourself. Brutally like honest brutally with yourself. honest. If you're if you're truly not snacking on anything if you're counting even like the little bit of olive oil you put in your food if you're counting that little bite of food that you stole from your partner or your wife or whoever if you you need to count all those things because while they might seem small those bites and those dashes of things they add up and they could add up to two or three hundred calories a day that you're eating without even thinking about it like my coffee in the morning my coffee in the morning doesn't have a lot has about 80 calories but still if i don't track that and then i don't track the little bit of olive oil I'll put in my food and then I don't track the little bit of bite I stole from Yami or um, a little scoop of ice cream that she was eating that I had. All these little things can really add up 
and throw you off track. So one, determine if you're being consistent or not. If you're not, get consistent because that can really um, get you on track. If you are being consistent and you're not seeing any progress or you were seeing progress and you're still being consistent but you've stalled out a little bit, what you should probably do is reassess your your food intake as well because what happens at the beginning is you will calculate the amount of calories you need based upon a certain weight that you are. As you lose weight, so say you lose five, six, seven, maybe 10 pounds, um, and say you're at that point where you've kind of stalled out, a lot of people do get d discouraged when they get to that first, they lose that little bit of weight and then they stop. And that's, they're like, okay, well, well what do I do now? What you have to do is recalculate your intake because like I said, that intake is based off how much you weigh. The less you weigh, the less food you need. So you're gonna have to go back, recalculate, either drop your food intake or increase the amount that you're moving. A lot of people think that that first number they start at is the number that they're yeah. gonna be at through their entire weight loss journey. And while it might be. It might be, it might work some, for- I have some clients that I don't touch their macros for like weeks and weeks and weeks yeah. and weeks and then there are others that we you do have to adjust. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind. If you are stalling out and you're being consistent, you might have to readjust your your energy balance. I'll put it that way: either your food intake or your um, or your the amount of calories that you burn when you're working out. So, and just to clarify, energy balance. Um, it's just your calories in versus calories out. So, yeah. um, so either you eat less or you move more. You can add in ten more minutes of cardio a day or you can drop your food however calories, yeah. whatever whatever and, and i don't want to put a specific number on it but either way you either need to increase the amount that you move or decrease the amount that you eat but don't think just a lot of people forget oh like i need to continue making this journey it's like lifting weights you're going to start out with 10 pound weights and it's going to be heavy at first but then you're going to get stronger and it's going to be easier you're not going to stay at that 10 pounds and expect to get stronger you can't stay at that same calorie intake and expect to lose weight the entire time. So um, recalculate your food, reassess where you're at, and that could just be the key to continuing on your, your journey. For a while. And one thing I did wanna just kind of mention to kind of just elaborate a little bit more on the first part he said about like if you're eating and snacking, and I mean, I do this all the time. I'm like, oh, can I have better your food? And it's I don't count it because it's not much, right? But if you're only doing like, 150 or I'm sorry 15 minutes of cardio a day that usually is 150 calories so 150 calories is very easy <laughs> to accumulate throughout the day so let's say you are snacking throughout the day very very little you pretty much just negated your your cardio and you're now back right where you started and that that intake versus energy out is kind of just going to balance out and you're not going to see progress. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Did I say that okay? Yeah, it can happen so fast. Um, just be super overly mindful about those little bites that you're taking. Those extra things that you don't normally think about, you might not normally track because um, they can really throw you off. A little thing of olive oil could be 100 calories without yeah. you even thinking about it. So little things that uh, are a good reminder to us because when I cook with olive oil, we're just like, I eh, will cook, <laughs> and I'll cook for both of us. So whatever olive oil I use, it'll be split between us. But I'll typically tell her, oh, add half a tablespoon of olive oil to account for what I cooked with, just so we can make sure we're accounting for that. So. And then last thing I'll say, and I don't, I hate that I have to say this every time, but I know that this sounds super like crazy specific, but if you are watching this video, it's probably because you have a goal in mind. And if you are literally just living your life with no, with no goal in mind, we don't say like track every little thing, but when you have a goal in mind mm -hmm. and you want to reach said goal, then there are things that you need to do so that you reach the goal. And, um, it's not, you know, about being crazy and it's not about being, um, obsessed with your weight and it's not about, you know, all these things that people might get from a video like this. It's simply you trying to reach a goal and doing the things you need to do. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, we can go off on a tangent here, but everybody wants like the easy way out and, or the quickest way to make something happen, especially with social media, everything's just so fast mm -hmm. these days. Um, we have to remember that it takes work to achieve a goal, whether it's a weight loss goal or, I mean, a sport goal, anything, anything. Yeah. Um, so just keep in mind that, um, while it might sound a little obsessive, um, 
these are just things you need to do yeah. to reach your goal. Just so. like budgeting your finances. Yeah. You need to yeah. make sure, oh, you're not buying that Starbucks coffee like every day. You know, if you're if you're trying to make progress, you need to make sure everything's accounted for. And it's not like you can turn a blind eye to that Starbucks, you know, three, four, five dollars you're spending every morning and be like, oh, I'm not saving money. So it's the why same am I not thing. saving money? Well, <laughs> well, you're going to Target and you're yeah. you know going over on your grocery bill or like whatever whatever you want to use as an example. But uh, same thing with food and fitness. It's it's something that if you're serious about it and you want to reach a goal, it's gonna sound a little bit crazy. Uh, but it's definitely something you need to do in order to get to where you want to go. That's right. So, so I think with all that said, <laughs> I need to be more consistent this week. Yeah, yeah, so. we all do, I think. And um, well, I mean, I've been pretty consistent. <laughs> so keep being consistent. So I'm gonna keep so. being consistent so that we see this progress. But yes, if you're feeling frustrated, I'm right there with you. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer for some people than it does for others. But if you keep going, you will see the progress. And I was telling Taz that I posted that thing on Instagram this morning because I needed it probably. it was I posted it selfishly because I needed to remind myself of that. And typically when um, I, I share stuff, it's because I need it too. So just please know that you're not alone and I'm in the frustrations with you and I'm trying with you and we are going to achieve our goals together. So if you find yourself in a kind of a stuck place, don't stop, keep going, stay consistent and I promise you, you're gonna get through that hump and you're gonna be like, oh, thank God I never stopped. So with that said, anything yeah, else? I think that's it. Just try and uh, be better this week. Yes, be better this week and hopefully we have more. <laughs> Hopefully I have better news for you next week. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.